is that he left us more than 7,000 pages of his notebooks. So when I wrote this book, I didn't do it the way other art historians have done, which is based on his 12 or so great masterpieces. I said, let me just start reading those notebooks. And I loved everything about them, like the to-do list, where he would say, describe the tongue of a woodpecker, or how do people walk on ice in Holland? All sorts of weird things he put on his to-do list, and yet to save paper, he'd do things like do his little geometry drawings. You can see him trying to tackle the math problem of squaring the circle, but then his mind drifts a bit, and he's drawing little mountains and triangles, and soon he's drawing a landscape with rivers that curl and then hair that curls. So you see his creative mind leaping around on page after page of these notebooks.